So, I actually have 13 minutes left. Now I'm ready for your question. What a great question. And you know what I love? Most of the times when people have a question and raise their hand, they forget the question. <laughs> you know, and you remember it, and that's a blessing. Okay, what I always do is I say, if you want to know, I mean, I could talk endlessly. As you know, I've talked for 20 solid hours. But this is what the Bible says, so I'll repeat it. It says, Second um, Peter 3.10, The day of the Lord will come like a thief in the night, in which the heavens are going to pass away. So everything, it's not just the earth. God is not just focused on the earth. It's the whole universe. That's why there aren't other planets and there aren't other civilizations and there aren't aliens that need to be saved and, you know, that we need to go into space and do space evangelism. No, it's just when God's done with the earth, he reconstitutes the universe. So that answers a question some of you might have. Are there other planets? Are there other civilizations? Are, you know, where are all these signals coming from? But the heavens will pass away with a great noise. The elements will melt. Both the earth and the works that are in it will be burned up. So the wording, and, and the word is stoichia, which is at the foundational level. That's why we say, to the Greek mind, where the Greek language comes from, is that the New Testament was written in, they didn't understand, they didn't have microscopes and electronic microscopes and cyclotrons and all that stuff. So they understood there were fundamental particles. And so they use that word, fundamental particles, which we would call on the atomic level. Protons, neutrons, electrons are going to dissolve. Now think about what you know already. It says in Colossians 1 that Jesus, in fact, I'll read that to you. Honey, you've affected me for life. Bonnie always says, don't say, I know you know this. Read it to him. This is what it says, Colossians 1.15. He is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of all creation. By him all things were created, verse 16, that are in heaven, that are on earth, that are visible, invisible, thrones, dominions, principalities, or powers, which includes all those demons, angels, all that. He created, and they are created through him and for him. He is before all things, listen to this, by or in him all things consist, hold together. Right now, the only reason why the atoms of my hand are not dissolving is God supernaturally is holding together the like charge particles. At the end, he lets go the connection. And the whole universe uncreates. Now we're, we're no longer physical. We've been glorified and transformed and so have those people in hell. But the universe, the stars, the galaxies, the planets, earth, the moon, the solar system, uncreates, and then it says they're going to be a new version of them, so it appears to be the same ones, only they're made perfect, probably the way he made it originally, because everything God does is good. And the first time he made it, it was really good. So he says, I'm just going to recreate it. So that would be my answer. What a great question. 